How's it going, everyone? So the other day, my neighbor calls me and says that it looks like there's a rave party going on in my basement. And what it was, was just like you saw on the first the intro clip, this thing was flashing like crazy. So in this video today, we're going to open this up and see what is going on with it. My guess is that there is potentially a dried up capacitor in this. This particular unit we use to light a section of our basement. This design, and most LED bulbs don't have any good ventilation for the uh, driver electronics. So my guess is we're going to have a bad capacitor or potentially more bad capacitors. This unit is a Bell & Howell model number 8358 ENG. I believe we paid $28 for this maybe a year ago at best. This light does stay on, I would say, 100% of the time since the lights don't get turned off when they should. But at any rate, let's go ahead and get into this. Now what it looks like... cover it looks like it's just snapped on. I can see a little gap right there. Let's see if this is the case. Yep, looks like it's just, looks like it's just snapped in. Might have to desolder these to get it apart. We'll see once the screws are out. Just looking first glance, it does appear this large capacitor appears to be bowed on the top. You can definitely there's a uh, it smells like the smoke might have gone out of this one. It does have a burnt smell to it. Board. Oh. There you go. Let's see if this just slides out. So it's pretty simple driver and uh, see the uh, 33 microfarad 400 volt capacitor has swelled up and it appears that 
kind of wanted the electrolyte leaked out of it. There's a smaller cap on here. It's a 3.3 microfarad, 250 volts. Appears to be okay. Alright, I'm going to see if I at least have one of these capacitors in my goodie bag of capacitors. Then we'll swap it out and see if that takes care of the problem. Nothing on the back side of the board. Alright. So I do have a 400 volt 33 microfarad capacitor. This one is rated for 125 C. The one that's in here, I believe is 120, 105. And it is a, I've never even heard of this brand before, Hein CDZ. I'm going to be replace it with a Nichion, which are high reliability capacitors. So hopefully the oh yeah, this cap. Yeah. Spin that sucker. It's definitely. Anyways, hopefully the holes. Will be big enough. The, the leads are slightly bigger on this one, but we'll probably be all right. Let's see if I can even flip this.
seats do fit pretty nicely. Like the solder came through pretty good on the other side. it back into place. notches that force you to put this chip, this panel in, in a specific way. It only fits on one way. Just for reference, if you needed to order a capacitor, I got this from DigiKey. I believe it was maybe just under $2. It's a 33 microfarad, 20%, 400 volt radial cap. And let's go ahead and plug this in, see if we still have a strobe light. Alright, so I have this screwed into a fixture and moment of truth. Looking very nice. Alright, so hopefully this 
helps you guys out there repair your your failing light this sh could apply to potentially other lamps uh, that are LED as it is a common problem with these so if this has helped I would really appreciate a like and subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future videos thank you